Puberty is the time when most of your growth happens. But what if there were ways to make it even more powerful? Could peptides like HGH, IGF-1, and secretagogues actually help you grow taller, build more muscle, or even change your bone structure? Some people claim yes, but others warn of serious risks. Today, we're breaking down the science of peptides in puberty. What really works, what's a myth, and the dangers you absolutely need to know. Stay tuned, because one popular peptide may surprise you. And if you're serious about maximizing growth naturally, hit subscribe now so you don't miss a single tip. Puberty is driven by a powerful mix of hormones. Growth hormone, insulin-like growth factor 1, testosterone, and estrogen. GH tells your liver to release IGF-1, and IGF-1 acts directly on your growth plates, those special zones at the ends of your bones that let you get taller. This is your body's most powerful natural growth cycle. But here's the catch. Maximizing GH and IGF-1 isn't just about being lucky with genetics. There are ways to influence it, some safer than others. Peptides are short chains of amino acids that tell your body to release more GH or act like IGF-1 directly. Think of them as tiny messengers that can nudge your growth system into overdrive. Here's a quick breakdown. CJC1295DAC, epimorolin, GHRP2, GHRP6, hexirolin, tesamorlin, MK677, IGF1LR3. Some mimic natural GH releasing hormones, others mimic ghrelin, the hunger hormone that also boosts GH, and some act downstream of GH. Most people think all these peptides work the same, but one of them works in a way that might actually be risky. Can you guess which one? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Because your growth plates are still open during puberty, peptides that raise GH and IGF-1 can accelerate growth, but each works a little differently. CJC1295, DAC plus ipamorelin, often used together for sustained GH pulses, mimicking natural rhythms. Internal cliffhanger. Sounds safe, right? Wait until you hear the potential side effects in segment five. MK677, oral option that raises GH slash IGF-1 long-term, also increases appetite, which helps during growth spurts. Curiosity gap, but that appetite boost can actually backfire. IGF-1 LR3 acts directly on bone and muscle, but carries higher risk of hypoglycemia. Hexarelin slash GHRP2 slash GHRP6. Strong GH secretagogues shown in studies to increase height velocity in children with short stature. If peptides do work during puberty, here's what they could potentially do. Faster height growth while plates are open, more lean muscle gain and less fat storage, stronger bones and joints due to higher turnover, possibly better facial and jaw development due to bone remodeling. Sounds amazing, right? But before you rush to try these, keep watching. Some of these benefits come with serious trade-offs. If you're surprised by how much growth is even possible, hit like. It helps me make more videos like this. Here's the truth. Medical use of peptides in puberty is only approved for children with GH deficiency or specific disorders. Using them without supervision can be dangerous abnormal bone growth or early plate fusion, insulin resistance or hypoglycemia, excessive appetite and unwanted fat gain, unknown long-term effects. Key truth, peptides don't create new genetic potential. They only help maximize what's already there. So even though the benefits sound tempting, one wrong step can backfire big time. Luckily, there are safe ways to maximize your growth potential naturally. Sleep eight to 10 hours, Natural GH is released during deep sleep strength training plus sprinting, stimulates natural GH slash IGF-1 release. Eat a diet rich in protein, calcium, vitamin D, magnesium, and zinc. Avoid junk food, seed oils, soy, and processed sugars that interfere with hormones. Which of these habits do you already do? Comment below. I'll share tips on which ones give the biggest growth boost. These natural methods might sound simple, but they're actually the most powerful growth hacks your body has. So here's the bottom line. Peptides can, in theory, enhance puberty by boosting GH and IGF-1. 
but the risks are real and they should only ever be used under medical supervision. If your growth plates are still open, your best bet is sleep, training, and nutrition, the natural version of peptide enhancement. And remember, once your plates close, no peptide alone will make you taller without extreme interventions. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit like and subscribe for more deep dives on growth and performance. And remember, while this video is for educational purposes only, not medical advice, always consult a qualified professional before touching hormones or peptides. And if you learned something surprising today, comment below. I love seeing which tips shock people the most.